There's no sign of the suspect. But continue to keep a lookout. Sir, we've been waiting for 20 minutes. Do you think the tip-off about Anne and the drug deal could have been false? Let's give it a bit more time. All you need, a person matching the suspect description is approaching. She's heading down to Sai Ahmad Lane now. You need to get into position. Let's go. It's Ayush Shari from CMB. You are under arrest for suspected drug offences. Cover. Yes, sir. Against the wall. Does this belong to you? Yes. Siti Binti Ibrahim. Yes. But your mobile phone was logged into a Facebook account named N. Why? Uh, N is my nickname. Does this belong to you? Yes. Where did you get them from? Where are you currently residing? Uh, Garnet Hostel. So where is that? Nearby. J Jeremiah Road. Number 10. Which room at Garnet Hostel? Uh, room 103. Sir, I, I need to go back to my room. Why? I have a boy there. He's only three years old. I left him for a few hours already. So there's no one looking after him? No, sir. Do you have a photo of the boy? What's his name? Yes. It's in my phone. My photo album. His name is Zach. Is this the boy? Yes. Sir. Take her to the car now. Yes, sir. There's no time to waste. Our priority is to ensure the safety of the child. Let's go. Yes, sir. Hi, I'm SIO Sharif from CMB. We are here to investigate a case of suspected drug activities. Who is staying in the room 103? Um, the registered guest is Siti Binti Ibrahim. Is there anyone else in the room right now? No. Can you help us to open the room door to do a search? Okay. CMB! Room is clear. No sign of the child. Ask Farah to bring Siti here. Search the room. Yes, sir. Have you seen the guest in room 103 with this child? Once, I think, when she first checked in. Did the child look mistreated or injured in any way? No, just a little dirty. How long has the child and the guest been staying here for? I need to check. For about a month, since 1st February. So you didn't see anyone leaving the hostel with the child earlier today? No. And you don't know who might have gone into room 103 and taken the child away? I've seen a Malay man going into the room a few times. Do you know who he is? Or what is his name? No, they came in and went to the room very quickly. Do you have a security camera set up? No. Who 
is that? Your nephew? No. He's my friend's son. How long have you been taking care of him? Ever since he was little. What happened to his parents? His mother trusts me to take care of him. She will only come to visit once in a while. Okay. We need to find Zack. Can you think of anyone who have come to your room and taken him away? My supplier. He was in the room when I was leaving. His name is Yusuf. I can show you his contact. I got it in my phone. Do you have a photo of Yusuf? Yes. Any updates? Sir, we tried contacting Yusuf just now, but his phone has been switched off. Luckily, he's in our database. Here, Yusuf bin Saleh, 52. Looks like he's got a history of drug offences. And it appears that his favourite haunt is the Juchet area. I got this photo from City. It's the same guy, but why would he take the boy? That doesn't matter now. We know Zach is in his custody. So our first priority is to ensure the safety of the child. Okay. I'll gather the team for case conference. Our suspect is Yusuf bin Saleh, 52. He has a long history of offences, including drug offences. From our records, we know that his favourite hound is Juchet. He most likely has Zach in his custody. That makes the operation much more delicate. I agree. Keep a lookout for Zach and Yusuf when we head down to Juchet. If they are sighted, do not approach them directly. We will need to catch Yusuf by surprise. So we will only proceed when the child is not in danger. Monitor and assess first, but do not engage. Okay, officers, let's go and prepare. Let's bring Zach back safely. Yes, sir. Hi, I'm Ping Hui from CNB. Have you seen them around here? No. Hi, Miss. I'm Ayo Bruce from CMB. Have you seen them around this area? Hi, I'm Ayo Julia from CMB. Have you seen them? Thank you. Hi, yes. I'm Kelly from CMB. Have you seen these two persons around here before? No, I don't think so. Hi, sir. I'm Ayo Leung from CMB. Have you seen them around this area? No. As Ayo Shari from CMB, have you seen them? Hi. I'm Ayo Farah from CNB. Have you seen them? How? Nothing. Let's go. Hi, I'm Ayo Ken from mm. CNB. Mm. Have you seen them? No. Suspect in the boy's spotted. Okay, noted. Keep following. Sir, subject towards the direction. Okay, noted. Let's go. Continue to monitor, but do not engage. Yes, sir. Go. Uh, why am I 
一个歌手。I'm Sai Ozari from CNB. Are you Yusuf Ben Salih? Arrest for suspected drug offence. Cuff him. Sorry. Okay. Okay, baby. Mummy, mummy. Pass the boy back to HQ okay. for safe custody. Search him. Yes, sir. Or something. Who does this belong to? See the drugs. Yes, sir. Put him in. Yusuf, how are you related to the boy? Where are you staying? Stop. She's not talking. Yusuf walked to the coffee shop. So most likely that he's staying somewhere nearby. Julia, get the team to canvas the area within the vicinity. Yes, sir. Teams, prepare to canvas the area within the vicinity. Let's go. Farah, follow me. Hi, I'm Ayo Yvonne from CMB. Have you seen them in the vicinity? No. Hi, can I help you? Hi, I'm Esau Shari from CMB. Mm -hmm. Have you seen them? Sorry, no. Hi, I'm Pingwei from CMB. Have you seen them around? No. Hi. I'm Ayo Julia from CNB. We are investigating a case on suspected drug activities. Have you seen them? Oh, uh, yes. They're staying at room 6. Thanks. Sir, we found their location. So when was the last time you saw them? Oh, uh, the man brought the boy here earlier today. Then he went out again. We need you to open the door to his room. Is there anybody currently inside now? Uh, yes. He brought two female guests in yesterday. I don't think they've left yet. Do you have the room key? Yes, I have. Bring Yusuf in. Search the room. I was in City's room. Then she suddenly remembered she had to go out. So I was with the boy alone. Mommy. I waited for so long, she didn't return. Thinking that she has gotten arrested. So I panicked. I took the boy and ran away. I went back to my room. Where 
where did the drugs come from? Who is your supplier? We have established the identities of the two women in the room. Hamida binti Abdullah and Rohani binti Marikan. We've also established that the evidence in the room belongs to Yusuf. Good work. Where is Zach? Outside. Hello! How are you? <laughs> We've contacted Hello. the relevant agencies. He's going to be in safe hands. Uh, uh. For me? <laughs> Thank you. Um, I have one. Can I have you? <laughs> <laughs> Yusuf was found guilty of trafficking, possession and consumption of controlled drugs. He was sentenced to 10 years, 6 months imprisonment. Siti was found guilty of trafficking, possession and consumption of controlled drugs. She was sentenced to 8 years, 10 months imprisonment. Hamida was found guilty of trafficking and consumption of controlled drugs. She was sentenced to 8 years imprisonment. Roaini was found guilty of trafficking, possession and consumption of controlled drugs. She was sentenced to 5 years, 4 months imprisonment. In the case you have just seen, a total of 835 grams of heroin, 27 grams of ice, and 20 ecstasy tablets were seized. The 835 grams of heroin would have been enough to feed the addiction of about 400 heroin abusers for a week. A toddler was also discovered to have been in their custody as well. The CMB officers activated for this case had managed to track down the toddler within 19 hours of the discovery. Their dedication and diligence helped bring the drug offenders to justice and saved an innocent young child from further harm. Drug abuse can destroy lives, families and communities. Let's hear what anti-drug influencer Mr. Aaron Aziz has to say about this. Hi everyone, I am Aaron Aziz and I would like to extend my support for a drug-free lifestyle and I hope more can join me in speaking up against drug abuse. Drugs are really not cool. They can destroy lives, families and even communities. Our children have the right to live in an environment safe and free of drug abuse. As a community, let's all play a part to protect our youth from the menace of drugs. Support and give them all they need so that they can lead a healthy drug-free lifestyle to the fullest potential. So let's continue to look out for our children and youth and do our part in keeping Singapore drug-free. Dear friends, there's been a new scam involving fake job advertisements. Victims will receive messages promising attractive hourly salaries for work. However, victims could unknowingly be used as money mules to launder proceeds of criminal conduct in the process. Your bank account will be frozen if it is used to assist in laundering money from criminal activities. Money mules may be liable for money laundering offences under the Corruption, Drug Trafficking and Other Serious Crimes Confiscation of Benefits Act, which carries an imprisonment term of up to 10 years, a fine of up to $500,000 or both. To avoid becoming a victim, here are some tips. Never click on links in unsolicited text messages. When in doubt, Always verify unsolicited text messages with official websites or sources. Do not accept job offers that require you to use your personal bank account to perform money transfers, buy cryptocurrency or open new bank accounts. Never send money to strangers or people you have not met in person before and Never disclose your banking details or login details to anyone. If you think you have received suspicious funds in your bank account, report it to the police and your bank immediately. Do not withdraw or transfer the money. Remember that you are responsible for all transactions made through your personal bank account. Let's take active steps to protect ourselves and our loved ones and be a scam-wise community. If you need advice, please call our anti-scam helpline at 1-800-722-6688 or go to www.scamalert.sg. We have come to the end of this episode of Crime Watch. I'm DSP James Goh. Until next time, do your part to prevent, deter and detect crime.